Hey everybody, it's Scott Curcio from Beard and Warner Real Estate here in Chicago, and it's time for Monday Market Minute. Now I apologize, I had to take a week off because I was a little under the weather uh, last week. Don't worry, better know, just a little, little off. And so we're back, um, and I have a lot to say. You know, today's update really isn't going to be about COVID. We've we've really moved into a new reality of selling homes right now, so there's not too much to say on that front. But um, what we are going through has led to on a lot of cases, a little bit more conservatism um, from buyers. And I want to talk, uh, today's message is going to be a little bit more for sellers, but um, it's good for buyers to hear this too. I mean, and what it kind of comes down to is we're seeing a lot of um, earlier and faster brick walling on negotiations where we have a buyer here and a seller here, and we're just, we're so, so close. We just can't bring it together. And there and so today's message is all about looking for other ways to do that and are there other components of the transaction specifically maybe a closing date that can financially impact a seller um, or impact you as a seller um, if you make some changes so i'll give you an example we had a deal that we were trying to get together this last couple of days here and we were so so close um and we were only twenty five hundred dollars apart uh, which is such a small amount in the grand scheme of things. Um, but it was really important to that buyer and that seller. And so we were, uh, a re how we were able to bring that together was to work with the buyer and their lending team to move up and do a very aggressive less than 30 day closing. Once all parties confirmed they could do that, what it was going to do is it was going to save our seller cash flow because on this next upcoming month, June 1st, they were not going to have to make that month's mortgage payment, which means they were gonna save um, a little bit of money on what would have been devoted to paying down principal, to paying off the property taxes. While they'll still owe some interest, it's also gonna push forward when that is due, and it would come out of the proceeds of the sale versus having to be paid out of pocket on that first of the month. And that combined with a little smidge of a good, of a, of a good faith move from the buyer, was able to get the deal together. So um, the moral of the story is you have to be creative right now. I think this is true in all markets, but specifically right now, get creative, look for the little ways that you can maybe save some money. Can you use a different title company that might save 100 or 200 or $300 here? Sometimes those little dollars can really add up and get you to the finish line. So that's my message today. Happy Monday, and we'll catch you next week.